147. That's how many severe cases of lung disease may be linked to vaping, and that is just in Texas. It is incredible to think about, and the highest numbers reportedly come from North and Southeast Texas. Tonight, we want to separate the fact from the fiction. 12 News investigator Lauren Hensley here to break it down. You've been hearing a lot about vaping and we're seeing the number of people getting sick rise, especially here in Southeast Texas. But while doctors are pushing out warnings, the vaping industry is fighting back, saying their products are safe. A friend of mine said, why wouldn't you just try the Jewel? This old e-cigarette commercial is why so many people turn to vaping to begin with. The promise it can help you quit smoking. I don't think anyone, including myself, thought that I could switch. And in large part, it has worked. Vaping is now a billion dollar industry, but we're just now really understanding the impacts. There are far better ways to stop smoking than vaping. New numbers just out from the Texas Department of State Health Services has confirmed 147 cases of severe lung disease linked to vaping. The youngest case in Texas, a 13 year old. Unfortunately, the misconception is that it's safe or it's a safer alternative to tobacco, but it's not. Half of Texas vaping illness cases are teenagers. A 2018 Texas Youth Tobacco Survey shows nearly a quarter of all high school students use e-cigarettes. <coughs> in August, we introduced you to a 17 year old who nearly died after excess vaping caused the teen's lungs to fail. I woke up just throwing up everywhere and my heart was just pounding out of my chest going 100 miles an hour. Doctors believe that chemicals from the e-cigarettes Tristan was inhaling caused his lungs to inflame so much that they could no longer exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide. There's so many things in a lot of the vaping products that we don't even know what they have and we don't know their dangers. The CDC is now looking into whether vaping THC or marijuana is behind a majority of lung illnesses. In Texas, 9 in 10 cases are linked to THC and almost all required intensive okay. care. The THC products in there have their aerosolized particles. And so what is all added to that particle is, is things that we don't know. Sam Salaime, the president and CEO of AMV Holdings, a vape company, says vaping pot is far different from what reputable stores are selling. We are getting severely punished for bootleggers creating illegal products and selling them on the market. As vape stores shutter and large e-cigarette manufacturers like Juul lay off hundreds, the industry is fighting back on what they feel is an unfair stigma. Set aside the business side of it. This is a disservice to the public. Dr. Alford says he's seen two suspected cases of vaping related illnesses at Christus St. Elizabeth. He believes there needs to be tougher regulations by the FDA to combat the problem.